With just a step at a time, one man honors his former flight crew members for the 20th anniversary of 9-11. I'm just making sure that they get recognized for their heroics so that their family members hear, hear that, that we recognize what they, those crew members did and their loved ones, you know, they did what they could under those conditions. The neighborhood of Little Italy in the Bronx welcomes retired United Airlines flight attendant Paul Benito, also known as Polly, in support of his mission to honor fallen crew members from the 9-11 attacks. So we came to welcome Polly Benito to the Bronx and to New York City, to Little Italy. Um, he took off pushing his beverage cart on August 21st from Logan Airport and he's pushing it to ground zero. The 220 mile tribute is a long time coming for the former flight attendant who says he wanted to begin this journey just a few years after 9-11. However, the tragedy got in the way, leading him into very dark times, eventually struggling with addiction up until 2015. After 9-11, I fell into an opiate addiction to numb myself out. When that obsession was lifted, I knew that I, had, I needed to recognize these guys. Now nearly six years sober, Polly's push is in full swing, and the initiative is met with love and support from many across the East Coast. The love and support is real. And this is what touches Polly. And the first time it happened, he, said, he called me up. He said, Kel, now I know why I'm doing this because it touches everybody in some way. Polly will not only push through for those who were lost on 9 11, his journey will also support Power Forward's Sober Living Scholarship Program in Tuesday's Children, an organization aimed to support the families affected by 9 11. Along the way, raising funds for Tuesday's Children to support the families of the flight crews that were lost on 9 11. Um, so we're here just to thank him. And he thinks, hey, I'm just the guy pushing the cart, but he's so much more than that. He's such an inspiration, and he's such a story of hope and redemption for those seeking recovery as well. He's come a long way, but his journey doesn't stop here. With a few more miles to go, Benito says his ultimate goal is to reach ground zero by 9-11. Reporting for BronxNet, Kevin Aline.